one. Hello, I'm Stephen Wallace. Um, I'm here with Chefs for Foodies um, at Ideal World TV. Um, I'm here to show you how to make a really gorgeous mango lassi. The temperature starting to rise outside. This is the perfect thing to cool down. Amazing with barbecues, amazing with spicy food. Um, so I'm going to use um, so the basics. Yogurt, the base of it is yogurt. Um, I'm using dairy yogurt. Um, you can use kefir, which is fermented yogurt. You can also use coke plant-based um, yogurts. So anything with like coconut or soy, which also, or oat, which I like to interchange. If yogurt isn't your thing, you can also do this with um, plant milk as well. Although I think yogurt gives it a tang and really it's the fermented tang that I think really makes this cooling on the system and great up, you know, pre that dinner or great with spicy food. Um, it's the reason why they have these in India and Pakistan. Talking of India and Pakistan, they are famous for mangoes. Now, we're using tinned, so easy, um, and often it's cheaper because obviously mangoes can be pretty expensive. If you don't like mangoes or can't get hold of man a tin of mangoes, you could use um, frozen strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, banana. You can mix, you can do lychee and mango, you can do mango and raspberry, um, you can do all sorts. So really it's up to you. I personally, I love mangoes. I think it's my, for my sort of family heritage, we, you know, this time of year, the boxes of mangoes would just feast on mangoes after dinner into the late night and just have you know mango juice all down us so basically um it looks like this it's this beautiful i'm gonna pour this out this beautiful golden liquid i mean look at that so i'm gonna pour out about half a tin the other thing so if you've also another key thing with this mango pulp don't leave it in the tin. So if you've got leftovers, there's a good half a tin here. Uh, pop it in the freezer, put it in a bag and pop it in the freezer. It will keep much, much better. So rather than uh, leaving it in the tin, because it sort of gets a bit of a, a metallic acidic taste to it. So then next I'm going to add the yogurt. So again, this is a bit of a splash zone. But again, you kind of need a bit more yogurt to, um, to mango. I'm doing about a 50-50 here. So, and I also don't get too overzealous. I don't fill up the container too much because if you put that in, you're gonna have mango covered walls. So I promise you. Right, so the other thing is a sweetener. Now I, I personally, prefer mine without too much sweetness. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of honey just to sort of take the edge off, but you can use uh, agave, you can use brown sugar. Um, um, I wouldn't necessarily use sweetener. It doesn't, I'd rather leave it out than put it in, but something natural, because this is such a beautiful, um, beautiful dish. So a little drizzle of honey, not too much. And it's up to you really. If you've got a sweet tooth, go for it. Um, and here's a moment of truth. So yeah, thank God I'm not wearing a white t-shirt as all I can say. So the best thing is just stick it in and then watch it change color. kind of it really what I love this piece of kit's amazing also because what it also does because it's got such a powerful motor it really aerates so you get a really lovely foamy texture so I'm going to just literally take this off in true demo style without making too much mess I've got my two glasses here, one for me and one for my imaginary 
friend who's going to be sampling this. But anyway, just to show you, could be three of you, could be 20 of you. Oh, the other thing you can also add, which I forgot to mention is, is ice. So also if you want to add some ice to that, cool it right down. Really, really stunning. But again, if you've got your yogurt really cold, and even if you decant that and freeze that, oh, amazing. Also, these leftovers will make the most amazing breakfast smoothie. So some of the mango pulp, yogurt, handful of oats, bit of banana, you're set all morning. So I'm gonna just pour, look how beautiful that is. So the other thing you can also do is you could also add a bit of vodka if you wanted to make it a bit more spicy, if you know what I mean. Talking of spice, actually, um, if you wanted to be a bit more creative, I've often done um, mango desserts with a little bit of red chilli and that warmth comes through. So it's really, really beautiful. So, um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to garnish it with some pistachios. Uh, forgive my really rubbish knife skills. I don't have my glasses on and I don't really want to chop off the end of my finger. But what I'm really doing here is just getting some really cute sort of shards of pistachio. Again, it's just more for sort of prettiness. You kind of get that lovely green against that sunny yellow. And then the other thing, if you really want to, um, again, it's sort of gilding the lily a little bit, but you can also add a tiny bit of mint. Again, it's up to you if you want to put the mint in with the mango and blitz it. Uh, by all means, do. Um, I'm personally, I'm not a fan. And I'm going with the smallest, I've got a big bunch of mint here, which will make amazing mint tea. Just this and some hot water, so don't waste your mint. But that's, you don't want a massive, great big forest of mint. And there you go, you've got two really pretty, really beautiful, really flavorful uh, mango lassies. So yeah, so this recipe, and actually the other thing as well is, if you're doing a meal at home, if you're making Indian, North African, anything spicy, serve a mango lassi in between your main course and your desserts. So if you're doing something quite lavish for dessert, this is a wonderful palate cleanse after lots of spice and lots of, lots of flavors. So yeah, serve these on a tray, maybe some ice, perfect. So yeah, 